Okay, so today is finally the day. macOS Pixel Beta 6 is now available. Now I have the developer beta profile, so I'm able to download the developer beta 6 of macOS Pixel. And if you are a public beta tester, just give yourself a few hours or perhaps on the next day, it's usually around 10 a.m. PST. That's when the public beta comes out. So just hold on a little bit. And if you don't see this update, you will see it soon. Now, for me on my 15 inch 2016 MBP, this update comes in for me at around 3.29 gig. Now, I have to say this cause it seems like Apple is sort of slacking back or holding back when it comes to Mac OS Pixel beta updates. At the moment, at the time I'm recording this video, in fact, today, Apple released iOS 14 and iPadOS 14 beta 7. It also released watchOS 7 beta 7 yesterday. And we also have tvOS 14 beta 7, but Mac OS Pixel at this time we're talking of beta 6. So it, it feels a little bit weird, you know, you can see that macOS has been s sort of, you know, let back, it's been slacking a little bit, but you know, the update is here. Now let's talk about what this update comes in for me on my MacBook. If we go into the about this Mac section, you can see the build number that we have here on macOS Pixel Beta 6. It has an E at the end. Now at this moment, I would like to think that we still have about two to three betas because E for me is not, you know, it's not yet there. We can't have one more beta and then the GM. So we still have about two to three betas for macOS Pixel before we see the GM version. And also if we go to the storage section and go to uh, see how much storage is being taken up by this update, you can see that it's taken up 15.83 gigs. Now, beta 5 was taking up 15.78 gigs, so it's more or less the same and it's in within range. Just a few hundred MBs that change. Now, when it comes to new features and changes, I have to say this, that when it comes to this beta or the betas that are going to follow after this, you shouldn't expect a bunch of new features or changes or drastic change when it comes to beta 6 or the next beta that will follow because at this time, you know, Apple is obviously making final touches when it comes to these betas so it's ultimately going to be released later on to the public in the fall so instead of focusing on new features they're trying to make it more and more stable now with that in mind let's talk about the new features and changes that came with this update the first change i want to talk about isn't really a good change it's actually a change in the negative direction and it has to do with safari now on beta 5 i actually had 4k video on Safari, right? But after updating to beta 6, I noticed that that feature has actually been removed on my 2016 15 inch MVP. I don't know if this is something that is just for me or it's also affecting quite a number of users. So let me know if 4K Safari has been removed for you on beta 6. Now on the positive side of things, this update actually is supported on the new 2020 Retina 5K 27 inch iMac. So if you have that iMac, don't worry, beta 6 is now supported. So now latest hardware and the latest software can sort of, you know, blend in together. On beta 5, it was sort of crazy. It was like having the latest hardware means you can have the latest software. So I don't know what was going on, but this beta 6 is more stable on iMacs and also it's supported by the new iMac. Another change that came with this update has to do with AirDrop. It's been fixed. If I send files either from my MacBook to my iPhone or vice versa, files do deliver and they show up. Also, this update focuses on developers quite a lot. There is an upgrade to Swift UI. So we have about four changes that came with this update for Swift UI. And we have new features for importing files, exporting files, file importer, and also file move over. Those are some of the new features and changes that came to Swift UI and for developers, you'll be able to utilize them. Now, also, I don't know if it's a new feature or perhaps a bug that I experienced. The moment I updated my device, when it restarted during the first initial reboot, there was a notification sound that came in. So I don't know if it's a bug or a new feature. And if it's a new feature, 
I would, you know, I would question myself, what type of new features this? Let me know if it's something that's happened to you, but that did happen. Also something that's changed with this update has to do with keyboard navigation to move between controls, which is now available. It also has minor stability and security improvements within Safari. So it's good that this update does that. And also this macOS Pixel Beta 6 qualifies for the 50% Apple security bounty bonus for issues that are unknown or reintroduced with this beta 6. So what this means is that I think starting from beta 6 and beyond, if you find any major or serious issues or bugs that are affecting like security or like iCloud bypass, key, key code bypass and so on, you can report those issues and just give, you know, a brief description. And what this means or this Apple program does is that, you know, it allows you to actually make money or get paid you know if you find something that is serious and is affecting security and apple will pay i think 50 percent and then pay the other 50 to like a charity of your choice or something like that so it's good that apple is doing this and it sort of encourages us you know to try and dig deeper and try and report whatever issues we see right so there's a lot to this in fact i'll leave a link to this in the description of this video so that you can read read it for yourself right next this update also fixes an issue whereby you wouldn't be able to find specific application using spotlight search so a workaround to this if you are experiencing this just go into your finder and then go to the application section and manually open the application whether you keep the application open or you close it you will be able to search it up and find it after doing this also when it comes to final cut pro and imovie this this update fixes an issue whereby they would quit unexpectedly and also you are able to capture video using either Final Cut Pro or iMovie. So those are mainly some of the changes that came with this update. I would try and dig out more with time. So those are what I've managed to find so far. If I find deeper ones, I will do them in another video or something like that. So now let's talk about what are some of the bugs or issues that are still present with this update. There's about 14 bugs or issues that have been mentioned and some of them have to do with this update taking longer than expected if you are coming from a prior version of macOS that isn't big so and also if you have a MacBook that has the Apple T2 chip, I believe it's 2019 and beyond, and you have your startup security set to low or no security, then you know you might not be able to update. Also, the weather widget at this point in time hasn't yet been fixed fully. So sometimes you set your location and then after time or after restarting your device, you find that the location you set changes. So that is a non-issue and a bug that is present with this update. So Basically, when it comes to like the next release, which is MacOS Pixel Beta 7, hopefully we catch up with iOS and tvOS and watchOS and so on. So for Beta 7, we can sort of expect it next week. Well, it's almost time up for Apple to release MacOS Pixel to the public. So I would like to think that from this time on going forward, we'll receive weekly updates. And if that does happen, that we receive weekly updates, then we can sort of expect to see like two to three betas before we see the GM. The reason I say this is because the build number we have here is an E and iOS 14 is already on a B and macOS is on an E, so there's a lot that needs to be done for macOS. However, if Apple decides to stick to the two week release cycles, then we might see just one or two betas before we see the GM version of macOS Pixel. Now, whether you should update or not, I think that, you know, if you are on the beta already and you are on beta five, you know, beta five initially was sort of, you know, okay. But with time, it seemed to get like buggier and buggier or worse and worse. So on beta five, if you want to update, I think it's a good thing and you should update. So far, I haven't had any major issues when it comes to like performance and so on on my 15 inch 2016 MBP. And on beta five to beta six, it's a good update. I think you should. However, if you are on Catalina, I know Catalina received an update recently. I couldn't 
recovery because my main device is what I'm using right here, right? So if you're on Catalina and you're sort of enjoying it and it's stable, I would advise that you not update now because, you know, the build number says a lot too, right? And more new features and also some more bugs will show up with time, which I'll cover in a follow-up video. So those that's my advice at this point in time. And basically that's about it for me when it comes to Mac OS Pixel Beta 6. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. And as always, I will definitely see you in the next video.